Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, and today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal Version and Brothers Mantle. Ultraman originally aired back in 1966 and follows the adventures of Ultraman and Shin Hayata as they battle against various alien invaders and monsters. So, um, if you have not checked out this truly iconic show, I highly recommend you go ahead and do that. Ultraman is an absolutely fantastic show and just a huge icon um, in the history of, you know, Japanese heroes. So definitely check that show out. It's absolutely fantastic. But nonetheless, Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version is another fantastic release in the Ultra Act line. Ultraman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a very nice, very neat, very cool, and very dynamic range of articulation. So first, let's check out Ultraman's accessories. Okay, so now let's check out Ultraman's accessories. So Ultraman comes with three pairs of hands, one individual hand, one warning crystal, one stand accessory piece, two ground burst effects, one ultra slash part effect, and one special beam part effect. So first, let's start with the hands, and the first pair of hands we'll check out are Ultraman's chopping hands here. So Ultraman's chopping hands here are definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. Um, as you can see with the paint application, it's that same um, ongoing paint scheme where it's that um, metallic silver, but not quite metallic, but it absolutely pops here. So it's definitely fantastic. And as you can see, um, there's a fantastic sculpt here, and they do a fantastic job in maintaining the glove-like appearance here. So definitely a very cool piece here. So absolutely fantastic on this hand. And this hand attaches via a ball joint peg, and I'll demonstrate that in just a little bit. But these hands are definitely very cool. The next pair of hands that Ultraman comes with are his open hands. And his open hands are definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. The open hands here have a fantastic sculpt. So you have the um, palm lines here, the lines for the knuckles. They're absolutely fantastic here. So definitely very cool there. The third pair of hands that Ultraman comes with are his, we'll say these are his cupping hands. So these hands are open, but just not quite. Um... I'm not sure if there's like a future plan release and this hand is meant for um, handshaking or not, but for now these are kind of cupping hands, but these are still very cool. So as you see, you have the um, fantastic knuckle markings here and the um, inner palm line. So, you know, they never cut any corners here and that's absolutely fantastic and very much appreciated here. So definitely very cool. Next, Ultraman's individual hand here is a peace sign hand. Now, um, I have not seen... Um, absolutely every episode of Ultraman, but I don't remember him doing any um, peace sign actions, but apparently he has to be able to do it because otherwise they would not include this accessory in the set if he didn't. So this is very cool here. You know, once again, no corner skipped, a very nice sculpt, very cool and very thorough there. And you notice too, even um, they could have filled this inner piece in, but you know, they left a little bit of a gap there to keep the realism and the detail going. So definitely very cool here and a very nice sculpt. So, to demonstrate how the hands attach, we have Ultraman over here, and all you have to do, just remove the hand here, and once again, um, with all these Ultrac figures, um, do be careful when um, inserting the hand on these pegs, um, this peg will move around if you push it too hard, so just kind of be careful, because you don't want to um, force the hand on too hard, and the peg flips out this way and that way, and then it breaks or something like that, so do be cautious when you're putting the hands on. So... Have that on there. Let's see if we can put that hand on there as secure as we can. So once the hands attach, it's a nice secure connection. But here we have Ultraman doing the peace sign. So that is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So definitely cool there. So next, the next accessory that Ultraman comes with will go with his warning crystal. So his warning crystal, as we all know, when Ultraman's time limit is reached um, and his energy is depleted, his um, crystal on his chest goes from blue to red. And this is a very nice piece here. Um, clear plastic here, definitely cool and definitely shiny. And how this attaches here, we'll grab Ultraman yet again. You're actually going to pull the uh, chest piece out here. Let's see if we can get that out. And um, at times it going to be kind of tough. And one thing I've noticed, too, is... Um, I've had a couple of issues putting this in um, evenly, we'll say, because um, you don't want to push this in too far. As you can see, um, it's not in there evenly. It's kind of hard to um, put it in there spot on. But nonetheless, once you have it in there as best you possibly can, it looks fantastic. So 
see if I can get that a little bit more evened up, which is a little bit tough, but let's see. I'm just going to kind of throw it in there. So that's somewhat even, but still pretty cool there. So now you have Ultraman with time running out and his energy running low. So definitely very cool there. A very nice piece. And you know, as always, it's those small pieces and those small details that go an absolutely long way and are greatly appreciated with these figures. So definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So the next accessory that Ultraman comes with are his ground part effects, and they're absolutely fantastic. So somewhat similar to Ultraman Gaia V2's um, explosion effect parts, um, these are definitely very cool. Um, you know, this is kind of like Ultraman uh, ground stomping and the uh, rocks and uh, all the explosions going on here, so it's definitely cool. Now these have an absolutely fantastic sculpt here, as you can see, they're very fantastic here. Um, nice, um, realistic effect with the rocks here, and it's definitely very cool. Now this is made of a thicker piece of plastic, and um, you know, there's not really any worry of breaking these, so you don't have to be um, too fragile, but then again, you know, don't be rough with these or anything like that, but still, these are very cool, so I really enjoy these, so absolutely fantastic. And there's one for the right foot and left foot, so we grab Ultraman here. Um, they just kind of uh, wrap around his feet pretty well, so let's see if we can get some focus over there. So I'm just gonna slide the hands off this little table. Just get that all out of the way. So, they just kind of, you know, go behind Ultraman's uh, feet there, and they're definitely very cool, as you can see, so. Very nice explosion, say if Ultraman's landing or just jump down. So pretty cool there, so definitely neat. So the next accessory that Ultraman comes with is his Ultra Slasher accessory. So this is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. And this is a um, significantly um, different improvement as compared to the original Ultra Act Ultraman release. Now I do not have that figure to compare to, but if you look online, um, in the original, the uh, shape for the slash was just pretty round and not really, you know, jagged or seemed like you like a cutting attack. But this is um, absolutely fantastic and definitely spot on here. So this is done in a very nice blue. The pan application is fantastic and this is um, somewhat translucent. So definitely very cool there. And the hand is uh, pre-attached, you know, like with uh, Ultraman Gaia, the hand is separate and actually slides into his uh, finisher. But this hand actually is gonna peg in. So we'll grab this. We're gonna grab Ultraman here, remove that hand, and we're just gonna go ahead and put this on, and it you know slots on just like um, any other ball joint hand. So do be careful. But now you have Ultraman performing the Ultra Slasher. So this is definitely very cool. So definitely cool there. So it's a fantastic accessory. Absolutely fantastic. So. The uh, next accessory that Ultraman comes with is his Specium Ray. Um, in the comments below, correct me if I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong, but I think it's pronounced the Specium Ray. But either way, it's Ultraman's signature finish. And this ray is absolutely fantastic here, and it's definitely very cool. Um, in the show, it seems like you know it's a beam um, surging with energy and multiple um, bursts of energy inside of it. And they kind of um, they did a fantastic job of replicating that here. So you can see there's multiple layers of energy here, and it's a very fantastic paint sculpt going on. Now this is hard plastic. Um, I would be careful; you don't want to break this off. But you know, it doesn't come off like it's going to snap in half or anything like that. So it's not delicate or fragile. But you know, do be careful with it. But still, it's absolutely fantastic. A nice burst coming from the hand here. So definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So how this attaches? You'll grab Ultraman yet again. Slides right on there. So. Get that on. And once again, you know, with these um, part effects that are attached, be careful. You don't want to put any pressure on the uh, part effects. So just kind of hold on to the hand as best you can. And as you can see, the um, I'm pushing a little bit too hard. So the ball joint is moving on me. And you don't want to do that because you don't want to break this ball joint. So let's see if we can get that on there. Nope. Let's see. And, you know, it's always good to see how this is because this is something you can encounter. And, you know, you don't want to break anything. So get that on. There we go. Okay. Just, you know, provide adequate support and these hands will slide on properly. So definitely cool there. So now we have Ultraman using his Specium Ray. So absolutely fantastic. It looks absolutely great on this figure. So absolutely very cool.
So now the final accessory, and you know, an accessory that's absolutely very much appreciated, is his stand accessory piece. So what these pieces are used for are to simulate, um, you know, seamless flight poses of a lot of the Ultrac figures. And you know, once again, a small piece that goes a very long way and is absolutely fantastic. So it's definitely very cool here. So how this piece attaches, we'll grab Ultraman here. I'm going to remove this. Get that off. And in Ultraman's back here, you're actually going to remove this lower piece here on his uh, back. Pull that out. And then just peg this piece in here. So, let's so get that. Yep. Peg it in the appropriate way. And then all you have to do, grab your favorite Tamashi stand here. And all you have to do, just peg that in. And now you can have Ultraman in seamless flight poses. So give me one second, we'll put Ultraman in a very cool flight pose and continue on. Okay, so now we have Ultraman in a seamless flight pose and it definitely looks very nice, very neat, and very cool. Um, I absolutely enjoy the simple fact that Ultra Act includes the accessory stand pieces. They're definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. And once again, it's one of those small details that goes an absolutely long way. Because as you can see, we have a seamless flight pose here as compared to attaching the standard Tom She clips around the waist, which is somewhat of an eyesore and takes away from the visual aspect of Ultraman or any of your figures actually flying. So this is absolutely fantastic and definitely very cool. So now we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the Ultraman figure itself. Okay, so now let's check out the Ultraman figure itself. Ultraman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a very nice, very neat, very cool, and very dynamic range of articulation. So this figure is absolutely fantastic. But before we begin, let's talk about one issue that has popped up with this figure. Now, when I first received my figure, it did suffer from loose joints, and the loose joints were pretty much in the legs. Now, what I had to do was I um, fixed the situation by adding um, nail polish on the uh, ball joint peg and the socket itself. So, that solved the issue with the loose legs, but... There is another issue that has arisen with this figure, and it's not so much the leg itself, but actually the, um, we'll say the hip joint or the hip swivel joint that actually pulls down. Um, it seems to be another issue in itself. Now, um, that is a tough issue to fix, but if you're interested, um, absolutely check out Mead's Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal Figure Review, and he goes over how to solve both issues with the ball joint peg and the hip swivel. There'll be a link in the description below to see that video because um, it's extremely helpful and it's all about to what extent you want to fix your figure versus buying a new one. But absolutely check that video out. It's extremely informative. So definitely very cool. But now let's begin with Ultraman's articulation and we will go ahead and start with the head after we get some focus going. So we'll start with the head here. So Ultraman's head is on a ball joint, and it seems to have a significantly more range of motion than even Ultraman, Gaia, Ogle, Dinah, and so on and so forth. So um, the head can turn left, it can turn right, he can look down, excuse me, look down, he can look very far up. So definitely very cool there for the flight poses there. So definitely cool there, so very nice range of articulation going on here. In the arms here... Arms come out this much, they can rotate 360, so pretty cool there. The shoulders are very well articulated, so you can move these forward, back, up, and down, so definitely cool there. Now, the um, forearms here, they actually do rotate on um, the actual shoulder joint here, so you can rotate those around. And how this is helpful, you can lift the arm up, rotate that around, and bring it over, and there you have Ultraman chest pounding, but you know, it's pretty much for his signature um, finisher and everything, so definitely cool there. The arms have a fantastic double jointed elbow, so definitely very cool there. Very nice flex going on there. The hands are on a ball joint peg, so definitely cool there. In the torso, the upper chest moves, so you can move the upper chest more so down than up, but still very cool. Um, in the waist here, the torso moves up and down quite a bit, so you have a very nice range of motion for Ultraman, so you can look very far down. Look very high up, definitely cool. The waist does turn ever so slightly. I'm not sure if it's absolutely meant to be turned, but it does give a little bit so you can actually turn that, so pretty cool. Now in the hips here, Ultraman can kick out about this far initially, so pretty cool there, but if you pull the hip joint down and kick out, he has an even more range of articulation, so definitely cool there. Absolutely fantastic. 
in the knees here, they have that double jointed knee, so a very nice bend there. So, you know, a nice bent knee for um, posing those very dynamic poses, so absolutely fantastic there. The feet here on a ball joint, so you can move the feet all around every which direction, so definitely cool there. And then even the toes are articulated, so absolutely fantastic. So this figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. Now, um, let's go ahead and check out the paint applications here. So once again, um, just red and silver, which is pretty standard, but you know, the silver here um, is that metallic, but not quite metallic silver that definitely pops. It's absolutely fantastic here. The paint applications are pretty much spot on, so I really enjoy it here. And then the sculpt here, you'll notice um, Ultraman has abs, and that's definitely cool. So he seems uh, very um, a very muscular sculpt going on here, so it's absolutely fantastic. And, you know, it seems to pay um, close attention to the original suit, so definitely very cool there. And one thing also to note, and I'm not sure if um, a lot of people are aware of this, but Ultraman does have these two little black dots here, and um, it's pretty much in every single suit. And I'm pretty sure that's for the suit actor to be able to see out of. So, and you notice, you know, any kind of um, uh, illustration or iteration of Ultraman has those two little dots there. You know, that's just one of those little um, nice quirks that really goes a very long way. So it's definitely very cool. You know, if you look at it, you see it. But for the most part, you don't even notice something like this. But it's absolutely fantastic. I really, really, really enjoy this figure. Now, also one thing to note... Um, uh, to simulate Ultraman's uh, signature, you know, fight stance pose, they've included an extra joint in here and um, an extra piece down here also so you can bend um, a whole lot further over. So definitely very cool there. And one thing too, it seems like, um, I don't know what's special with these um, inside pieces, but it seems like he um, ends up having a... Uh, very fantastic center of balance. So, you know, um, most figures, it takes a lot of working to put these in dynamic poses, but Ultraman here can um, get in a very dynamic pose and it's not too hard for him to stay stable. So definitely cool. You know, maybe I could be um, over hyping up those two pieces, but I really think they have something to do with uh, Ultraman's center of gravity and how well he can maintain his poses and just stand um, so dynamically pretty much on the first try. So absolutely fantastic. So this figure is absolutely cool. So definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So now that we have the Ultraman figure review out of the way, let's go ahead and check out the Brothers Mantle. Okay, so now let's check out the Brothers Mantle. Now first and foremost, the Brothers Mantle is an accessory that is sold separately, and as of right now, it is only compatible with Ultra Act Ultraman Zoffy and Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version. So do be aware of that, but nonetheless, the Brothers Mantle has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a very nice, very neat, and very cool range of articulation. So let's go ahead and check out the Brothers Mantle here. Get that stand out of the way. Um, the Brothers Mantle here is absolutely fantastic. It has a very fantastic sculpt here. We'll start with the back. So as you can see, the folds and creases here in the uh, mantle are absolutely fantastic here. You know, very cloak and cape-like here. So absolutely fantastic and very cool. And then as far as the paint application is concerned, you know, a very nice and vibrant red here. Then on the inside, as you can see, the same fantastic sculpt detailing is going on and that very vibrant and um, very poppy uh, silver metallic going on here. So absolutely fantastic. So for the most part, this piece is made out of pretty much hard plastic, which makes it still very cool here. Um, I couldn't imagine dealing with cloth or anything like that, but this is absolutely fantastic and very well done here. Um, in the um, collar and the shoulder pieces here, these are also hard plastic. Initially, I thought these were rubber, but these are just hard plastic also. So this is a fantastic accessory. Now, as far as the articulation is concerned, um, as far as the side pieces for the mantle here, they can um, turn out. So we'll see. We'll go way out there, left and right. So pretty cool there. But also, there's a hinge here where you can actually fold these cape pieces back. So let's get some focus going on. And all you have to do is just grab that just right, and you can fold this back. So pretty cool. Now, the centerpiece can only move forward and back, so you can move that back. So what we can wind up having here is if we tilt just everything back, now we have the cape flowing in the wind. So that's definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So that's absolutely fantastic there. So definitely cool. Now, also, the Brothers Mantle comes with a stand here, and this stand is pretty much to support Ultraman with the mantle on. Um, 
Now, depending on if your joints are loose, um, the mantle will weigh the Ultra Act Ultraman figure down, but um, this stand here is definitely pretty cool there. Um, now, this stand, how this attaches, actually pegs into Ultraman's back where the accessory stand piece would normally plug in to support him. So, let's go ahead and attach the brother's mantle, and we'll just get into this stand and how this all comes together. So, first, you grab your Ultraman figure here. Pretty cool figure, as we all know. All you're going to do in the top section here of Ultraman's back, there's actually a piece you're going to remove. Is This is where the uh, mantle actually pegs in. So you have that. Then you have the mantle here. And you have the peg sticking on the center here. You're going to actually push that in. Now, one thing I've noticed, this can be a little bit difficult at times to actually peg in. So bear with me if it takes me a little bit of time to get this in because um, for some reason it could be a little bit tough. Let's see if I can get that in there. And it's in. First try. Definitely cool there. So... Now, as you can see, we have Ultraman with his brother's mantle attached. And this is absolutely fantastic and definitely very cool. Now, as it pertains to the stand here, we're going to go ahead and attach him to the stand. So we're going to lift up the mantle as high as we possibly can. We're going to do an Ultraman's lower back here. We're going to remove the section back here where we normally put our accessory stand piece. Grab it here and just peg that in. But, whoops, I forgot we actually need the accessory stand piece. So let me grab that here to the side of me. We have the accessory stand piece here and we're actually gonna peg that in. So sorry, I kind of misspoke there. So we're gonna get that in like so. So you have an accessory stand piece here and you're actually gonna put that on and just peg that in in the back there. So now you have a very nicely supported Ultra Act Ultraman with his brother's mantle attached. So definitely cool there. Let's see if we can get some focus. So this looks absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, you have the mantle blowing in the wind and it's definitely very cool. So this is a fantastic accessory and absolutely mandatory. And when they release the other Ultra Brothers, which consist of, uh, I believe it's uh, Jack, Ace, Taro and uh, Ultra 7, these will look all very cool. So um, if you can afford it, I would highly recommend um, picking up several mantles for each figure because, you know, as you see on a lot of the box art, when you have all the figures together with all their mantles, it looks very, very, very nice, very neat, and very cool. So absolutely fantastic. So this is an amazing accessory here, and it's definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. So absolutely fantastic here. So now that we have uh, the brother's mantle out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal Version and Brother's Mantle are both fantastic releases in the Ultra Act line. Ultraman has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a very nice, very neat, very cool, and very dynamic range of articulation. The Brothers Mantle has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a very nice, very neat, very cool, and very wide range of articulation. So, both pieces are absolutely fantastic, and I highly recommend that everyone picks up both pieces. They are absolutely a must-buy. If anything, definitely pick up the Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version, but if you have a chance and the opportunity, definitely pick up a Brothers Mantle because the mantle... um. I feel like truly completes the idea of the character, so definitely pick that up because it's absolutely fantastic. Also, if you haven't seen it already, definitely check out the 1966 original Ultraman show. It's absolutely fantastic and definitely iconic. Now, this figure is a massive improvement over the Ultra Act Ultraman original release. Now, it does still have those issues with the loose um, hip joints and so on and so forth, but not as bad. But... Um, as we all know, there are two different issues that can pop up with this figure. The um, loose hip joint dealing with the ball joint and then the loose hip joint dealing with the actual hip swivel. So if you want to find out detailed information on how to remedy both issues in extreme detail, check out Mead's channel video for his review on the Ultra Act Ultraman Renewal version. Um, he goes in depth on that video on how to fix the hip joint issue if you have that. A link to his video will be in the description, so definitely check that out if you have any hip issues. But nonetheless, this has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.